Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. I'm um, just going to show you another method of creating conversations for your eLearning e courses. And uh, one of the things that I like about this, uh, it's going to pull together a bunch of lessons that we've already gone through, and uh, I'll try to point to some of those lessons in the in the notes so that you can find them as well. Um, but essentially, what we have here is uh, is a conversation between these these two people and some different angles. Um, you know, the over the shoulder look, uh, talking to each other here, and um, let me show you what we got going on. Um, so let's go into this slide right now and uh, this actually the the lesson uh, there's another lesson that I have on how to build these wall baseboard floors where you have um, a wall as one asset, a floor as another, and then a baseboard and uh, I learned this from David Anderson and it's a really cool effect um, but uh, then what I did was I saved it out as a single image and then I brought it in here to the slide master and let's go to the slide masters if you're not familiar with slide masters I have a lesson on that as well um, but I brought it in here as an image and then I applied a blur effect to it because I wanted to create some contrast there um, so if you were to go to format picture um, and artistic effects you should be able to see that there's a blur that was put onto it so it's got a radius of 10, but you know you can make it more blurry by cranking it up. You know that'll be super blurry. And then you can crank it back down too if you don't want it want it too blurry either. Okay, um, so that blur is in there. But what one of the things that we're wanting to do is uh, we we really wanted to um, have those different uh, perspectives, and you can actually do that. I had another lesson where I showed you how to do this with uh, with texture fills to create the perspective. But this is just a single image that we've applied a perspective to 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 create like a vanishing point that direction and that direction, um, and it's uh, it's pretty easy to do. Let's uh, just go into the slide master again. And let's see one where we have perspective. I created different zooms too. I kind of zoomed in, zoomed out. Um, uh, but here, um, this is the zoom, uh, zoom like looking over to the left, where the right of the wall is going to be closer to you. Um, if I just go to format picture, you can see if I go to 3D rotation, that what I have there is a, uh, the x is at 10 and the perspective is at 45. And the way that I did that, let's just reset that. Um, if I just uh, click on one of the presets and I select perspective and I left it's gonna give me 20 and 45 and then I scaled that back down to 10 and there we go I, I was I was good with that and you know now it's creating a vanishing point here um, off to the left and that's good if you're kind of looking over somebody's shoulder over here like so like this um, so that works uh, that works really well and you're gonna have to do some different things with you know, the sizing of the image um, and uh, to make it uh, fit on there how you want as you're creating the perspective you'll want to scale it up because you know it may look you know may not look quite right you'll end up with some white around it so you'll just have to figure out how that works for you um, but essentially um, you're able to create let me uh, get out of that and there we go I close that and now you're just adding these characters on in post-production this background is already there and you're able to move your character around and have these different perspectives there's a more zoomed in look and it's kinda cool um, by putting the the layouts into the the slide master it then becomes a, a drop down that you can be selecting and creating uh, uh, creating new scenes by you know, entering a new slide and saying, oh, we want that one, and there you go, and then you can put your characters on it, or changing existing uh, layouts as well. And uh, I matched all these up with the same way that I create other templates so that you could come back with a photographic template, you could do the gradient fill, um, you could do the texture fill, and they all kind of follow the same standard there. But uh, essentially, you know, all we did was use the, the wall baseboard floor method, uh, saved that out as a single image, added a blur to it, rotated it um, and then put those into the uh, in, into the slide masters to create these different perspectives and added the characters hope you found that useful uh, I have a bunch of other lessons on this and we'll have some more uh, coming out too so stay tuned thanks so much bye